Lorraine, the Gather Us In Imagine meetings are now concluded and the Spirit and Space team is now ready to share in upcoming meetings some plans for our church space and associated costs. Would you describe how some of those key elements of the plans address our objectives of worship and community? As you know, we're an extremely active and vibrant church, but Christ Presbyterian Church, first and foremost, is a place of worship. And when we engage with our architectural services, that was a key emphasis in our design. The, the idea of word, table, and font, and their importance in our worship services. Pastor Dave and David also talked about an opportunity to make the chancel area more flexible so that we could accommodate a wide variety of types of worship. Uh, secondly, our process. The architects met with the pastors, staff, worship ministry, and our choir to better understand the unique needs and the ways that we use our church during our worship services and other programs that are held in the sanctuary. Uh, our responsibility with the architects was to merge the beautiful Gothic structure of our church and marry that with today's specific sound and acoustic needs. In fact, we um, are in the process of engaging an acoustic engineer to help us professionally address those types of situations and implement those in our design. Our overreaching goal with regard to worship and community was to design a space that gives us the flexibility to meet the changing needs of our varied programs, but to hold on to the beauty and the tradition of Christ Presbyterian Church. And I think Chambers, Murphy, and Burge, our architects, um, have found a way to very capably do that. Would you now please describe how some of the key elements of our architect's design address our objectives of accessibility and welcoming? Accessibility is another really key objective. Clearly defined, entr and clearly defined entrance um, was an important criteria for us in the design. Something that would be accessible to everyone that enters the space because really that's part of being welcoming, the desire to welcome everyone regardless of age or ability. Um, to that end, some of the key elements in our design, um, an entrance door without steps, one that is clearly marked, an elevator as soon as you enter the building so that travel between the floors of our space are more manageable. And then in the lower level, the idea that we can open up the use of all of the lower level spaces by installing a ramp system. Um, because as you know, the building's on two different levels. It was built at two different times. We also thought, what if you're a guest in our church? And the architects helped us to address that in what I think is a really friendly way to greet our guests and to help them negotiate the space in our church more efficiently. Um, that greeting system in tandem with a new security system um, that we installed recently um, will help us to be better equipped to oversee traffic within our space. We talked about welcoming, not just in the interior, but also the exterior. As you know, a lot of urban churches are considered almost fortress-like because of the way they sit on the property. And we wanted our architects to be able to address how to make our space outside seem more inviting through the use of green space. Um, parking was important to us because we wanted to address um, adequate handicap parking. Um, and then lastly, lighting. Uh, lighting is just a key element to creating a more welcoming space. Uh, can you tell us then what funding uh, raising goal has been established to pay for these changes? Absolutely. Our monetary goal is $2.5 million. And 
as I'm sure you understand, um, the most significant portion of that cost is the actual construction, new and existing. But it also relates to costs associated with our professional services, and those include um, expenses for the architect, for our various engineers, um, our acoustic engineer, as I mentioned, and then also project management and construction management as we get further along in the process. We're really fortunate that we have an architectural firm that honors the building and our history. Um, but to be sure, rehabilitation is more expensive than new construction. We felt as a committee and our architects felt um, the need to ensure that our new spaces incorporate the same amount and level of detailing that we see throughout the rest of the space. Great, and, and can you tell us when meetings will be conducted uh, to explain all of this to members of the congregation? Yes, um, actually our um, unveiling is today, March 31st, um, after our 1030 worship. We'll also have meetings on April 3rd and April 7th. Um, what you're gonna see in this meeting, the plan, um, are called schematic drawings. Um, they are more refined than a conceptual drawing, which was our first stage with the architect, but they're not as detailed as the detailed construction and design drawings that you see before construction. Um, they reflect what I think is a creative yet practical solution to, to the many different space objectives that we have. Now, we also know we may need to adjust our design um, as the capital campaign when winds down and is completed, and we know what kind of money we have to work with. Now, we know we may need to adjust our design drawings once the capital campaign is completed, and we know exactly what kind of money we have to work with. Um, but for now, um, we're very confident that you're gonna be pleased to see um, something that addresses an exciting new chapter in our design. And Lorraine, I, I guess the final question is, it, why is this project important to you? Well, I, I think probably everyone in our church community ha will look at these plans and our design and say, um, this is something that is important to me. Um, for me personally, um, it has to do with our food, clothing, and prayer ministry. I, um, I am concerned when I see our volunteers, prayer partners, and our community friends struggle to get up and down the stairs um, during our ministry days. And um, we oftentimes have people that visit us in wheelchairs. And if it's cold or raining, they have to wait outside because they can't come down and participate. So for me, an important part of this and the reason that um, I want to see this project through um, is because I think those things are an important area and a timely situation for us to address. Lorraine, thank you for your update. Thank you for having me. Lord, take us as we are. Summon out what we shall be. Set your seal upon our hearts. And live in us.